All right, so in this video, we are going to be looking at task 18G, okay? The question says that we should open the data, database that you saved in task 18F. Remember that in task 18F, we were able to edit uh, our form, our database form, all right? So that's the, that's the um, database we're going to open for this task, all right? Two, two new fields are to be added to the student's, the, uh, the student's data, all right? Use these field names, data types, and field descriptions, all right, as stated. So it is stated in the, in the table here, all right? So that's what we're going to do, okay? Giving them um, the field name, year group, and tutor, and all what's not, all right? So we're going to go back to our database. Now, this database was uh, 18 E, okay, where we actually um, edited, uh, you know, the form, all right? So what I'm going to do here is, for consistency sake, I'm going to save it as task 18F. I'm going to save it as a database, okay, not a subject this time, okay? So um, I'll save that uh, in a location here. Good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to name it task 18F. So we can do as same as well. So we begin. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is going to the student table and then going to design view and then giving the, the field name, okay? So the field name is year group, year group underscore, sorry, year underscore group. All right, and then the data type, of course, is a numerical integer. So I'm going to take the number. Um, I'm going to have tutor and then to text. So, and then another thing I need to do is to give you a description for the year group. So, which says the school uh, year between seven and eleven. Inclusive and then um, to tell the name, sorry, the name of the students, of the students uh, to tell. Okay, so that is it. So, another thing that we might have to do here is that knowing the fact that the tutor. The tutor, the tutor's names are just initial, so just about three letters, okay? In order to save space in a database, we change it to 25, the four 25 characters to just three, okay? Just to save uh, storage space, all right? So we can save our work and then switch back to design view, and then we can close that and go back to our form, okay? Our student form, okay? So here we're going to go back to design view. Now, this is where we're going to, um, you know, uh, adjust our form such a way that it will be, able, will be able to enter data using the form, all right? So I'm going to just pull down this form uh, footer, okay? I'm going to pull it down a little, a little more. Uh, here, that's the space I need, not here, please. I need to pull up this one. So this is the space I need. I need to give you details. All right, so we we'll put it down here. I'll put it a little more because I'll do a lot of things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, the option group, click on there, and then come down here, then drag across. Okay. So what I want is um, I want the label names to be year seven, year eight, so year eight. Now in nine, in nine, in ten, then in eleven. <clears throat> Excuse me, eleven, and then the lastly, I would like when these are not selected, I want no year group selected, so I can no year group. So sorry, no year group selected. No year what am I doing? Yeah, good. Selected. Good. So that is it. So we click on next. 
and then um what's the four choice or the, the four choice should be no you could select it please and then we'll move to the, the next one so what's the value associated with the label names the values i want are seven then eight for year eight nine for year nine and then ten for year ten and then eleven for eleven and then um zero for no year group so you missed that now store the value i mean save the value for later use no i want to, to store it in this field but obviously not in student id i want to save it exactly in year group so that's where i want it to be so you select that and then go next here you can play around if you want to but i mean everything is already um, selected for me so i may not have to do anything so i will just go to the next so what name do i want for this um option group i want a particular name which says which year group are you in so i'm going to write that which year group are you are you in question mark okay so i think that's how i want to be so i click ok and then this is what i have down here okay so how good does it look let's check our form view and see how it looks i think it's looking great exactly how i want it so let's move ahead and then add the tutor level so i'm going to just put this down a little bit a little bit more so i'm going to have the tutor level so i'm going to just go to level and then select the tutor level here uh yeah okay so i'm going to simply um move this uh unbound to the side here okay maybe adjust this a little bit more and then click on this and adjust it a little more okay so what i'm gonna have in here is a text a text okay so i'm gonna have um tutor in there all right tutor in there but at the same time i want to be sure that this unbound i want to i like, create um a link so in such a way that when you put um when you add data here it reflect on the table also so what i'm going to do i'm going to select that okay as it's selected i'm going to go to um property shape so make sure that unbound is the one that is selected please okay so i'm going to go to property sheet and then of course go to data all right and then control source all right control source i want that data to tutor data to go into tutor so of course as you can see tutor unbound i mean a tutor as the unbound has changed to tutor okay so this is how you enter a new field on existing form all right so by the time you go back so, so let me just pull pull this one up a little bit i pull this one up a little bit i don't need this guy okay so uh, i think we're good here by the time you go back to okay let me just probably do that come a little more and then close down this guy a little bit so if you go to your form view this is what you have this is the nature of what you have okay so uh just in order to just be perfect so sorry where am i boom uh design let me just uh put this guy down a little bit just tiny bit uh, let me format that to be um alignment general i want it uh center something like that and then put it down a little bit tiny i think we're good so you, you get the gist right now so when you go back to the um you know the uh the form uh, the form view so this is what you get all right so if you click on your seven here or your eight here so what's going to reflect will be um will be um the eight in your, in your in your data or your storage all right so i'm not going to enter data you can go ahead to play with it because uh, i'm going to use this for the next lesson okay so you can go ahead enter data if you really want to and then experiment and see how it works so this is it for task 18g okay so um uh, 
this way we're going to end it and then i'll see you in the next uh, task all right so don't forget to subscribe comment if you have any question and then share my video thank you so much for watching